Find out how new federal rules on evictions will affect local renters and landlords. Plus, trying to get those virtual students' photos, getting their IDs created. New things to know when your kids need school photos, especially if you're the photographer. Lots of adults these days are learning to be stay-at-home teachers, or at least at-home classroom monitors. And if that sounds like you, another job could be in the picture. Stephanie Oswald explains. This is our new setup. With no business since March, Eric Miller is eager to get back-to-school photos back in focus. We're standing the students this year. We're not going to sit them, so we don't have to worry about a chair. For the first time ever, lots of parents will be in charge of this time-honored tradition. Each school will have a page on our website. So let's say if your child is uh, doing virtual learning, there's a link right on our website. You just take a picture with your cell phone, you submit it. We will use that for the ID for now. It can be replaced with a professional shot at a later date. If they want to stay virtual learning for the whole school year, they'll have the opportunity at some point in time to come to our studio and take a, a really nice picture. For those who are going into the classroom, COVID-19 plans are in place. Well, we didn't use stickers because we didn't want to put stickers down and have to pick them up. So we did a little ingenuity here and we actually printed a mouse pad. That's just a regular mouse pad. It's a collage of social distancing, sanitizing, and technology for a touchless process from start to finish. Student comes up, tells us their name, we pull up their name, take their picture, they're done. And within about four or five minutes at the most, mom will see it on her cell phone. She can order, everything is done, 10, 15 minutes, she's done. No envelopes to fill out and no cash to send in. <laughs> Touchless photos means no one will be able to help your child adjust their clothing or fix their hair before they get their picture taken. So do your best to make sure your child is picture perfect before they head to school. <laughs> Stephanie Oswald. I gotta try one with the mask too. WGNO News. And Stephanie says there's also a safety factor to consider. What if a student goes missing on a school field trip? Schools need current photographs of all their students in case of emergency. Thank you, Stephanie. That was a great segment and a story about our school photography system and how we have created a COVID safe photography system. It conforms to the parish and all the CDC guidelines. And that includes making everything contactless and touchless, meaning no more paper order forms. We don't accept cash or checks back anymore. Everything is online. The families actually receive an email where they can look at the pictures and they can see them before they buy them. This is a great system. Give me a call, Eric Miller at 504-270-7822 and let us get your school scheduled now.